On this video, I'm going to talk about some things that I wish people had told us when we first bought it and upgrades that we had done as soon as we started. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our, this adventure. is our adventures. hope y'all are doing great. You're going to hear some noise in the background. We're at the hunting club and some people or other people are moving their camper in. So you're going to be hearing a little bit of that noise. But I wanted to do this video on things that we wish we had known when we bought our camper and things like upgrades that we had done as soon as we bought our camper. Now in this video, these are things that we wished. Maybe it might be something you might think you think about and then you'd be like, you know, I wish we had done that or known that. I know everybody has different opinions and likes things different. So these are just things that we felt were important. So we got the queen size bed because we thought we wanted the end tables. I wish we had went with the king size bed because I think I would rather have more bed I know it's harder to walk around and I know that's like a negative, but Bill ends up sleeping on the end table because it's just not enough room. The other thing is, is upgrading their mattresses. We never upgraded our mattress and a lot of people said they wish they had upgraded their mattress to start with because as we know, RVs just don't come with the best mattresses. Now, what I did on mine is we got like a big foam um, padding that we put on here and it's worked great for us. It is, since we've been in this for two and a half years, the, the mattress is starting to sag and we're going to have to replace it. And I think when we do that, we're going to turn this into a king size bed and take out the end tables. Bill's like, oh, but I want some place to put my coffee, even though he sleeps on top of it. But I think I can add a shelf across the back and then he can put his coffee up there. Because to me, these end tables are pretty much useless if you're in the bed because you're like spread out and it's just too small. Another thing, I didn't think about this when we bought it because ours came with one, but a lot of the RVs, the grand designs, only come with one AC unit. So the bedroom doesn't have one. They only have one in the main level. And I've talked to quite a few people that only had one HVAC and said it was horrible. So you want to make sure you get two HVAC. Another thing, when we bought our grand design, we wanted washer dryer hookups. We thought that was something that we would use. We haven't used it at all. And the way they would fit inside the closets, you wouldn't have any closet space left. So if you're buying a rig and you do want a washer dryer, make sure it has its totally a separate closet for that. The 390 has a separate closet for the washer and dryer. But R337, the washer and dryer hookup is in the closet and it would take away from our closet space and we're not, we're never going to hook up the washer and dryer and we've never missed it. And we don't full time, but we just use the washer and dryers at most of the RV part. Now, when we first got our camper, the door to the bedroom would slam open and closed. Like you would close it when you would leave and would probably within five minutes it would pop open. And when you would get to wherever you're going, the door was open and it was slamming. Now, I got a magnetic I got a magnetic doorstop off of Amazon. I want to say it was like seven, eight dollars. That thing is awesome. You push the door up against it because one, I don't know if y'all saw it, even if we're level, our door still wants to close. So it keeps it back open when we're here and when we're driving down the road, it keeps it open and you don't have to worry about it banging the door. And it's a really good magnet and it holds it well. Now, let's talk about a few little things that you want to know when you're remodeling your camper. Not all pill and stick wallpaper is created equal. It's only by trial and error if you know if it's gonna roll down. <laughs> it most likely is not gonna stick. We've just, I've not had any really great luck with the pill and stick wallpaper. 
Mine has actually got little clear tape sticking up there to hold it up because when it gets hot in here, it just wants to roll down. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Now, I did get some the peel and stick tile for the bathroom and that stuff has stuck great and i ordered it off of amazon i know i've seen some people say that theirs all fell off but this that i got at amazon it has worked great absolutely love that peel and stick tile all right let's go to the bathroom and let me show you a few upgrades and things that we wish we had known about in there now this upgrade was one that i done pretty late like a month ago this faucet this was so easy to install and so great it was i mean the other one you barely could get your hands up underneath it where this one if it's and it was like 40 dollars. and anything that i bought off of amazon anything i buy anything i tell you that's on amazon that i buy i'll put a price how much it cost me love this faucet the next thing is the toilet seat upgrade it the other one had like little grooves and stuff up under the toilet seat and it was very hard to clean i got this one off of amazon it works great and it was so easy to install the next question you're gonna ow, i feel like i'm hugging the toilet might not want to be doing that yes i'll just sit on the toilet the next question that you're going to ask yourself as soon as you get a new RV, or especially on R337, they give you the toilet paper holder and it's not mounted anywhere. And you're like, where does your toilet paper mount go? So many people talk about this on the Facebook pages. It's like crazy. I stuck mine up under up under the little hole and it's kind of out of the way i've seen some people stick them on the inside of the door right here i've seen some people put them there um and then some people just have like a free stand in place but mine i put it right here it's kind of out of the way now while we're in the bathroom let me talk to you about another thing that you need to know or what we do when you have the water when you're taking a shower turn on the electric and the gas water heaters that way it can try to keep up better we've never run out of hot water and i've taken a shower and then bill's taken a shower and it seems that it is able to keep up i don't take extremely long showers in the rv that's just facts of life the electric and the gas on at the same time you will definitely see a difference now another thing that i really wish i had done a long time ago which i just did a few months ago the bar on the door that right there it's so much easier because I was always grabbing a hold of this you can grab a hold of that but it was all the way out there now you can pull it to you and then close the door and that is a super cheap upgrade that I wish we had done to start with now in here in the kitchen we're at the stove and I wish I had known this in the beginning because when I first started using the stove, I burnt the bottom of the biscuits. I burnt the bottom of anything that I put in there. It seemed like it only heated the bottom of whatever you were cooking in the oven. And then some people say they don't even use their oven, but we use ours a lot. But if you get a cheap pizza stone, just put it in here. You're not gonna like put nothing on it and get the rack up above it it gives a consistent heat throughout the oven and cooks all your food evenly so make sure you get you and it can be just this one i want to say i got at walmart for like ten dollars so if you can find you a cheap pizza stone and put it in there works great and i put the garbage can here when we first bought the camper and bill didn't have power up underneath the camper and he was looking everywhere checking breakers everything was working found out that it was a gfi switch that had tripped it was my fault the garbage can was pressing it but the gfi switch is right here that works all the gfi plugs so you want to know where that is now we haven't fixed this but a lot of people have for whatever reason the steps going up to the bedroom they're like a really tall step and a lot of people fall down them and fall up them veils fell down them <laughs> I've fallen up them, hurt my toe. 
So a lot of people have changed these steps out to make it three steps instead of two. We haven't done that upgrade, but that's something you might want to know. Another thing that I'm so glad we changed out pretty early on in the process is we took out our table and put in a desk. This gives this area so much more room and there's just two of us. So if we are going to eat, most of the time we're going to be sitting in the chairs with a TV tray, but we do have this here that I edit and work on the computer a lot. So I use this desk all the time. Next, Grand Design has fixed this now, but on ours, these seats have, you can lock them, but there's like a heated and a massage on it. And the dogs, when they jump in and out of the chair, they turn on the massage. I don't know if you can hear that, but I don't know how many times that's been on and we're like looking around trying to figure out what's making that noise. And we've kind of, you would think we would keep remembering that it's the massage, but we cannot never remember it. We hear it and we're like, what in the world? And then it's like, oh, it's the massage on. Now, I have ordered some little things to go over those from, there's a guy on Etsy and I'll put the link in the description box to put covers over these so that you do not have to worry about them getting accidentally hit. And I do have those ordered and I wish I had ordered those forever ago. Don't know why I put it off so long. Another decor tip is when you buy command strips to hang things, get the 16 pound ones. I know you're like, oh wait, that's not that heavy, but those are the best that I have found. You get the lighter weight ones and I think all the bouncing, the force makes it heavier. But the 16 pound ones I have found, they hold a lot better than any of the other ones. So go with the 16 pound command strips. Another thing outside that I love that I did was I put a shelf up under our camper. It's not necessarily to put more stuff in there. It's just so that stuff can be separated because I would put stuff in and then you'd have more stuff like piled on top because it's such a big space. But now it's separated, so you can put some stuff up here and down here. The only thing I don't like about it is at night, it kind of covers up the light. So I was thinking of maybe putting some lights in there or something different, maybe just a pop-on light to make that better. But I love that shelf, and it was so easy to make. I wish I had done it a lot sooner. Now, outside a few things that I wish we had done a long time ago, we did do the RV lock on the door. We did that, I don't know, a year or so ago, but we just changed out the cargo, the two cargo locks to the RV locks. That has been the best thing. Go back and watch our video. Love it. You have one key fob and it has a one and a two. So like the one unlocks our door and the two unlocks both the cargo areas at the same time and locks them at the same time. It has been so much easier because normally when we leave the camper and wanna lock everything up, you would have to, we would lock the door with a camper. You would have to go and lock, take the key, go lock this door, then walk around and go lock this door and then you could leave. Now we just walk out on the front porch, we press lock, press lock, and everything is locked up. Another thing that I think was so worth the money was our wee boost. Because like here at the camper, without it on, we have no service at all. At least when we do turn it on, I have one bar. I can get some text messages. My phone won't call out an iPhone and I don't know why. Bill's phone, his is a Samsung and you can talk on his phone while you're here. but. At least we have some kind of service. And when we were hunting, hunting, <laughs> when we were in Helen, Georgia, staying in a campground, we used it because we didn't have any service at that camp spot. But as soon as we turned it on, we had two and three bars and could even use the internet. So the Wee Boost is a must have. I hope you've enjoyed this video, kind of learning just the the things that I wish I had upgraded sooner than I did, and seeing just the things that I wish people would have told us when we bought our RV. Welcome to all our new subscribers. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you hadn't for some more great adventures.
Well, it's going to be next year before Great Adventures in February. But we're going to have more, more videos. Till next time, like and subscribe. Are you going to Oh, my goodness. What? What? Come here. What you going? What you going? What you going? What you going? She sounds like she's mean, but she's not. She loves it. Hmm? You gonna tell them bye bye? Tell them like. Tell them, come here, come here, come here, come here. Tell them like, subscribe. Tell them say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Tell them. Yeah. Tell them. Tell them. Right. Tell them. Right. Say like and subscribe. Tell them. Say like and subscribe. Over here.